hey everyone and welcome back to my channel so today's video is just a really easy acrylic nail design it's already been i've done already done all of the prep work um and the clear base um i mean i am going to start leaving a lot of that in again now that i'm getting back into the habit of recording clients so this is alison she's been three weeks and she come back there's really like minimal lifting and so I've just whizzed it back down to the clear base, um, reshaped, gone in with my cuticle prep work and then the natural nail prep work. And then I've gone ahead and applied a clear, thin layer of crystal glass just to protect that natural nail plate. And just to put that base back there again, so that when she comes back in another three weeks, we can file straight back down to that clear base and do a redesign again. So I'm using this absolutely beautiful colour and it is called Coconut Ice. And it is so pretty. And then I'm literally just going to stick one of these beautiful little pearly hearts that I've got just on the tip there. I just think it looks super cute. I saw Kerry Wright do it on one of her sets of nails. And she just put one little heart at the tip. And I just thought it was so cute. So I just did. I'm just, what I'm just doing here. Just putting one little heart at the tip. And then I'm going to move on to the next nail. And this nail is going to be like a loose, I say marble, but it's not really a marble because I didn't want it to be a real dominant marble. I wanted it to be like slightly translucent, quite wavy, um, just really, really, yeah, like, I don't know, translucent and see-through. And I, I want to say apologies for if I sound funny. I'm actually full of the lurgy at the minute. I've got a cold, blot nose, you know, the work's so i do apologize for that um so yeah i'm just doing like a loose wavy marble here and i'm using chalk blush and dare to bear both of which are from cjp So now I'm moving on to the middle finger and I'm just going to do a wash of that coconut ice and then I'm going to go in with all the love hearts, put them at the tip. I leave that to set before I go in and do an ombre on that nail. So just placing them into that wet acrylic. These ones, these hearts that I've got here are actually from the Naughty Nail Fairy. It was a bag that I found in my drawer from ages and ages ago. And I just thought they were super sweet. So I thought, right, I'm going to use them. Because it's all like Valentine's Day, isn't it? Everyone's all loved up. <laughs> oh my gosh, my nose is so blocked. It's unreal. Do you ever get that when you get a blocked nose and then you just realize how much you take breathing out your nose for granted like i promise that i will never take breathing out my nose for granted ever again so on the index finger i'm coming in with that chalk blush and placing it at the cuticle blending it down towards the free edge I pull my brush in when I get to the side so the product comes in, blend it down. And then I'm just going to come in again and do like that loose wavy sort of marble at the tip. So I'm going to use the coconut milk, um, the dare to bear and chalk blush. And then I'm also going to just stick another one of them super cute hearts on the very tip.
So now I'm just going to do a ombre with obsession. So just placing that at the cuticle, tucking it nice and neatly in there, using the tip of my brush as my barrier, and then just gently blending it down onto those hearts. And then on the thumb, I'm going to use that ice coconut again, or coconut ice again. I'm just going to do an ombre here with um, Obsession. And then um, as I went back to cap all the nails, I wanted, when I looked at the thumb, I was like, mm, I need some else. So I ended up putting some of those hearts in there as well. So I'm just going ahead and capping all of those nails now in crystal glass. I'm just going to let you watch now to the end. I, as I said, I haven't left any filing in. I know you do love the filing and I know you love the prep. I just haven't really been um in that headspace of starting the video. And then I, I kind of taught myself into it sort of thing. Um, But I will definitely start just putting the camera on and just recording from start to finish. Because I want to get the content out there that you guys are actually interested in watching. I know I've got a date to do my own nails, so I'll be doing my own nails on film soon. Um, I have also got some, like, gel and stuff to do some with as well. So, a few little exciting things coming up. Um, thank you, as always, for watching. I've left a little clip at the end. Obviously, after I'd filed, shaped and buffed, I've gone ahead, cleansed and... Um, 
removed all the dust, gone ahead, applied the top coat of corder in the lamp for 60 seconds and then just give it a second to cool at when it comes out the lamp. And then I've put cuticle oil around her cuticles and then I've left a little clip and a picture at the end so you can see the finished result. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do decide to recreate any of the looks I do on my channel, then please go ahead and tag me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Liz's Acrylic Nails. Um, I think if you search it, it just kind of comes up. I will leave a link in the description box anyway. If you do want to go ahead, check it out, follow me, tag me, and um, you can get reposted on there. And also, um, you get to see a lot more of like my daily life with my stories and stuff like that as well. Or, you know, nails that you might not see on YouTube and stuff like that. So I'd really appreciate it if you go and show me some love. Um, yeah, so as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye.